Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Light Sworn deck. Now I know a lot of people have wanted me to do a Light Sworn deck for a while, uh, Light Sworn variations and all this other stuff. So I wanted to go back, redo my Light Sworn deck, make it um, not a pure build, but more of a standard build. And maybe off of there I'll do some more Light Sworn decks depending, you know, on what's going on. So Light Sworns have a lot that they can do nowadays. There's a lot of different tech for them. There's a lot of different variations. I'll talk about that uh, a bit in the side deck. But with this deck, I'm trying to utilize some of the new cards, and I'll talk about some of the other choices that you can make uh, with this deck type going forward. If you're not familiar with Light Sworns, um, which <laughs> most people probably are because they are a very popular deck type, basically they just mill. They mill like crazy, and they try to activate effects, and usually just get out Judgment Dragon and blow up the field. So... I'll start with Judgment Dragon, obviously the boss of the deck. You just bring him out and wipe the field and just win games easily with him. So that's uh, one of the reasons why Light Sworns uh, get hated. Almost always uh, gets chosen to run at uh, 3, but I do see some people run it at 2, which I don't think is a good idea. So I'm running 3 of Raiden. So I think Raiden is just really good, um, and that's why I'm running him at 3. He's a 4-star tuner with great effects, can bump up his attack and help you mill, and sets up synchro play, so I really like Raiden. Lila, also a very important card. Um, 1700 attack, not bad, and it can destroy spells and traps, so a very nice card to have. Usually gets a uh, run at 3 because of how good that effect is. And then we're running 1 Gareth and 1 Jane. Um, helping you, Gareth has some interesting ability to help you mill faster. Jane is a pretty nice beater. Usually their effects aren't as uh, you know versatile and as useful, but you definitely want to have one copy at least of a lot of Light Sworns so you can easily uh, bring out Judgment Dragon, which is a big part of the deck. You want to be able to run three and two of the better ones and still have one um, as of the other ones to make um, Judgment Dragon get out very easily. And then one Minerva. So some people are running this at two. Um, I'm finding that it's an okay card, but it can be dead at certain times and having to normal summon it uh, can be bad for certain things, but not really the big deal. Um, obviously getting it to the graveyard so you can do things like summon it back with Lumina and make um, six star or seven star synchro plays. There's a bunch of other interesting things that you can do with it overall, but I just really don't like um, currently running it at more than one, but uh, up to you guys, uh, obviously. Running two Raikou, um, not as useful these days um, as it used to be. But running two seems to be a good amount for me. I'm liking uh, still the ability to destroy things can be very useful. And I'm running three Lumina. So Lumina has always been a good card. But in addition with the power that we have with Synchros um, and some of the other variations we can do on this deck, Lumina becomes a much more powerful card. So it was usually you know chosen to run at three before. But I would say run it at three in any Light Sworn deck now because of the strength of some of the plays you can do. One Honest, obviously, in a light base deck can be useful. Blacklister Soldier, um, this isn't really a Chaos deck, but it has some Dark in it, so I wanted to throw in Blacklister Soldier. Along with that, we have one Necro Gardener helping us out. Uh, two Curry Bandit, I really like, like this card for this deck, helping you search out spells and traps, which um, is very nice for this deck because of how useful each spell and trap is for this deck, on top of its ability to set up the graveyard very, very quickly, so that can be very nice. One Plague Spreader allows you to make some interesting plays. You could bring out Synchros. You could uh, set Wolf back to the deck to help you mill it and resummon it. So there's a few different things you could do with it, which uh, I really like. You could definitely run more copies of some of these dark cards like Plague Spreader and Necrogarden. So it's up to you. For the spells, One Foolish Burial obviously can make Judgment Dragon come out very easily. Same thing with Monster Reincarnation, um, getting Judgment Dragon back, which is really nice. Uh, three Solar Recharge, very nice for this deck, setting up what you need. And one Charge of the Light Brigade, obviously very good, which is why it's limited. One Dark Hole, two MST helping you out. Definitely can run a third one in this deck if you want to. And one Soul Charge, because we're going to have a lot in the graveyard, this is another alternate thing we could do to make Synchros and just do big damage. So another uh, interesting card you can use. For the few traps, not a lot of traps in a Light Sworn deck. Two Breakthrough Skill helping us out dealing with effects. And two Beckoning Light, which can be uh, very useful for this deck. So now for the extra deck, going to have um, a mix of Synchro and XYZ, obviously with the Synchro power this deck has um, now. So Catastore, you can get him up. Goyo Guardian, obviously recently um, going to be off the list for July, so definitely putting him in here because you can make him with uh, something like Minerva and uh, Lumina or Raiden and Raiko. So you have a few different things you could do, and uh, he'll be a very powerful card to, have to be able to have access to. Also, Black Rose to Michael of the new uh, Synchro for Light Sworns, which is going to be uh, very strong and very nice to have. So I really like um, this ability that this deck has to bring them out. One Scrap Dragon, one Crimson Blader, obviously powerful 8-star Synchros. For the XYZs, we do have a good amount of level 3s, so I like having Zen Mains, Levire, 
Leviathan. For the four stars, Exiton, Scion Honor, Star Lees with our lights, Gaga Cowboy, and Lavalo Chain. Uh, obviously, in this deck, it makes a lot of sense to have Lavalo. So now for the side deck, if you haven't seen a video of mine before, in my side deck I kind of just talk about the recommended cards that could also be very useful for this deck, but I'm currently not running for whatever reason. These are ideas I want you guys to think about, not meant to be a side deck for matches. So Felice, um, currently still in the OCG if it ever comes out, um, is going to be really useful for this deck and I think I will definitely want to run it. I've seen some people run one or two copies of Celestia, not a big fan of it, but can be useful. Um, the cast side of this deck can be a lot, you know, bigger. You can run Gores, depending on your back row situation, Cast Sorcerer, Dark Arm Dragon, depending on your Darks. Uh, card Trooper, another card that, um, older Light Sworn decks use to, to mill out, which can be useful. Uh, a variation on this deck is with Dragon Rulers. You can run them and Eclipse Wervern, and, and you can do a bunch of other interesting plays, but not currently the build I'm trying. I might try that build, uh, in the future. Cephalon, an interesting card that you could probably bring out pretty easily in this deck late in the game, but can be dead early on. Rainbow Karibo, another interesting card that you can use, um, sort of like Necro Garden, uh, just another uh, interesting choice. Depending on what you're running, you could also run, you know, different synchros. Like if you run Cast Sorcerer, you might have a better chance of getting out, you know, Belize. You can get out Belize with this deck, but I wouldn't uh, recommend it, uh, depend because of our monster kind of setup we have. But it's still could be interesting. You could run higher level synchros like Mist Worm and Leo and other things like that. Uh, the new spell card, Lightsworn Sanctuary, I'm still messing with this card. I don't want to add it to my Lightsworn deck yet. I'm thinking about whether I want to do it. I think it could be very useful, but it's just debatable right now. Um, and I'm looking to see what people are going to do with it. But it can be a really interesting card. There's some other back row you could run. I'm not a big fan of back row in this deck. Needle Bug Nest, I'm not a fan of, but I've seen some people run it, which can be useful depending on your deck type. There's other um, Lightsworn support, like Vanquishing Light, another card I'm not a big fan of. And uh, my last Light Sworn deck ran Royal Decree, which you can also run instead of Traps, which can also uh, work fine. It could be very nice to have Royal Decree, so when you get out Judgment Dragon, you won't have to deal with anything, which can be uh, pretty nice to have. So that's my Light Sworn deck. Uh, pretty simple, but using a lot of uh, kind of new ideas and new stuff that's being added to the game. I like that this deck type is kind of evolving beyond what it's already you know, been set to do, and I think it's going to be really fun moving forward as they uh, add new cards and there's new uh, strategies that you can use with this deck. But if you guys have your own Light Sworn decks, you could post below. Let me know in the comments. You could talk about what cards you use. Maybe make some suggestions for me. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But that's about it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.